Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering here. I'm going to show a uh, pin crimping machine that I imported off of Alibaba. I uh, got it from a company called Yihan Automation out of Shenzhen. And it's a very good machine. It's I'm sure that the Molex machines or the you know traditional machine is a better machine, but these are quite good and the price is very good. Um, let's take a, a look at this and I'll show you what it can do. So this is a uh, uh, this is the press that it comes in. It's a YH-2.0T, and that's a two-ton press. It's an automatic press. Uh, it comes with a foot switch uh, down here that I can actuate it. You can also control it manually um, for setup purposes. You can go to a manual mode and make the die you know close slowly and watch what it's doing. Um, but so what is this machine for? Um, if you've ever used, uh, you know, DuPont pins, if you're a, uh, uh, you know, a hobbyist with embedded stuff and um, uh, maybe Arduino, you've probably seen these DuPont pins or uh, here's some JST pins. Um, here's a, a wiring harness that's pretty common. Uh, that was a 10th inch with DuPont pins. Sometimes these are called Berg pins, uh, very common. Uh, this kind of machine can do a wide variety of pins. Now you need a different die uh, for different pins, so that's a bit of a hassle. Um, but if you're making a lot of something uh, and you're doing it the old fashioned way with a hand crimper like that, that works. But if you got to do a lot of them, this gets really tedious fast and you have to, you know, manually, this kind of old style hand crimper, you had to manually insert the pins one at a time um, and it's a slow process. Um, so let's look at this machine a little bit here. Um, it's got um, a, a motorized two-ton press, H-frame press. The dies, um, when you buy your machine, what I did is I sent them a spreadsheet of the various pins that I like to work with. And uh, the dies were cheap enough that, uh, that I just had them, uh, you know, make. <laughs> make a dies for all the pins. I didn't, not for all the pins, I cut the order back a little bit because it got a little crazy. Um, but, uh, uh, so this die is for the DuPont pins, also Berg, called Berg sometimes. Here's a die back here uh, for uh, Molex style, the older and larger pins that are used in Molex connectors. Um, here's one for JST connectors. And you can also get extra fingers. I got different fingers for different wire gauge so um, you know if you reconfigure these dies it can be a little complicated so if you're faint of heart you may not want this machine but um, but it's you know for a normal engineering environment it's something that can be understood here's another die back here for uh, Molex uh, uh, wire to wire pins uh, you know mini fit and micro fit 3.0 pins um, so basically I sent the company a spreadsheet uh, they s quoted, you know, hey, these here's how many dies you need to cover all those pins. Some of these dies can do more than one pin, but usually it's within a certain family. Um, and um, so the machine, uh, you need a roll of pins. So usually, you know, minimum order is probably a thousand pins to feed one of these. Uh, it comes down here, feeds into the side over here. And uh, let's show how this works. Um, so here's some crimped wire, or some, some stripped wire that I've already stripped. And to, um, to crimp that, I simply put it in here and hit the foot pedal. And then look at that. Uh, so much easier than doing that by hand and um, faster as well. Um, so this Berg pin, you know, would go, uh, uh, here's a latch housing. That's, you know, would go into one of these housings. If you're making up a pin, you'd, you'd prepare your wires. Um, one thing that's interesting to me about this machine, too, is that the press, the uh, H-frame press, uh, is available. This is a two-ton version. They have a, also have a, I think it's a one-ton, a three-ton, and a four-ton version. But you could use this pr automatic press as well for other dies. Um, not, you know, four tons won't punch a lot, but, uh, but if you needed a small die to do a, uh, uh, you know, a, a, uh, punch some holes in something or whatever you could you could install that in a machine like this it, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be uh, for uh, pins only although that's what this is purpose built for um, I think this is going to be a very useful machine um, and um, uh, it was a, a good purchase Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering